Welcome back to my channel. I'm Davey Todd and this channel is about guiding the home and living joyfully. So if you are a mother, if you are married, if you um, do the accounting in your home, the finances, whether you do it together or not, if you do any kind of management of a home, this channel is about guiding the home. And the end result of guiding the home well is living joyfully. And so if you want to know about those topics, come here and subscribe. Now today is a very important day in the Todd household. My husband and I have been married for 16 entire years today. And I'm very excited about that. Now one of the most common questions that I get is how did you manage to stay married all of that time? Especially because the first 10 years of our marriage, we were in the military. Now, I only served in the military for the first two years of our marriage, and then by that time we had two kids, so I was out of the military, and then we had our third child. But my husband served for a total of 10 years, and when you're married to a man in the military, you're still serving even if you're in the background, because you have to um, be able to move at any point in time. So, that can have a hamper on a lady's life. For one thing, it makes it very difficult for her to have a career. Now, the virtual assisting world is starting to emerge as a very viable option, and that is something that I personally enjoy doing. Now, we've been married for 16 years, so it's been really hard for me like 12 to 14 years ago. Um, but. The answer to that question is the Lord Jesus Christ is the center of our mar marriage. He is our center cord. And so we put the Lord first, um, both of us. And we read the Bible together and we pray together. Um, not always in the same order, not always at the same time of the day. Um, but all of our decision making, all of that goes through the Bible. And so we're on the same page there with the same faith and the same practices of that faith. The Bible tells us that a threefold cord is stronger than a single cord. So you'll have me and the Lord and my husband and my husband and I just wrap ourselves around the Lord so that we have a nice strong cord. The second thing that we do to keep our marriage strong is esteem others better than thyself for marriage purposes. What that means is I put my husband above me and he in turn puts me above him. So if both of us are constantly trying to edify and build up and lift up the other person, then we are both having a good success. We're both being successful at building each other up and there's a lot less room for strife and anger and wrath and tearing each other apart. In fact, in Proverbs, it says that a foolish woman plucketh her house apart. And that starts with your husband because, you know, there wasn't a established house with the two of you in it most of the time until you get married. And then it becomes like one established house. You share the same name, you share the same room and all the same stuff and a foolish woman will pluck all that apart and a wise woman will build it. So it flips around the same for a man. A man that picks his wife apart and calls her names in front of their company, you know, he's just not a very high class guy. So that was step two. So step three is the small foxes spoil the vine. That comes from Song of Solomon which is the book that's all about marriage and love and all of that kind of a thing. And he talks about not letting the small foxes spoil the vine. So to illustrate that, I'm gonna tell you about our hedges. And it's a major pet peeve for me, but it's really, it's just a small fox. I don't really like our hedges, like at all. And they're, um, they're a type of privet plant and I think I'm allergic to it. I think my daughter is too because they're blooming 
and we have had like a non-stop runny nose ever since. So I personally would just like to ground them into powder and be done with it. Well, my husband likes them. He likes the flowers on them and he thinks they're great and he likes them big. So, um, yeah, that's one of our biggest fights. So, if I feel like doing it, I might go out there and just cut them all down to a small box. And if my husband keeps them up the way that he wants them and they're he likes the dome rounded shape and he likes it a lot bigger than I do um, but if it you know if he's put a lot of work into it for several weeks or something I don't want to go out there and be like I don't like your design and the hedges I'm gonna cut it down to this little tiny box you know but if he hasn't been working on it or he's been too busy um, my husband kind of works almost as an engineer and so he gets like an engineer brain and he starts building things and sometimes those building things take like a while and he kind of neglects the hedges a little bit so I might go out there once or twice a year and cut them into the very small boxes now they do always grow back and they usually grow back much more full <laughs> and they don't die <laughs> but um, I haven't poured salt on them or any kind of poison, so I think that I'm doing pretty good as far as keep up the hedges, even if it's in a way I don't like, I'm just not going to complain because it's not really worth it. You see, it's a very small thing in life. So those are the three main things that we do to keep our marriage nice and strong. All of those are pretty much spiritual things. Now as far as the physical things go. Um, this is where like the finance part comes into play. Um, we both have Google Rewards on our Google Fi phones and we get the little surveys and we take them and every so once in a while I might buy a book or he might rent a movie and I do read out loud in the evenings during our like date time when our kids are asleep and then the compromise part is um, that I read aloud because he doesn't like to read and I have to watch a movie I don't really like movies I feel like they're mostly a waste of your time and sorry about that little interruption okay so, so that's the finance part and we keep that very affordable by um, using the Google rewards money only um, now I like paying our house off early so for me I would love to have a gift that was just paying my house off like an extra $50 or more sorry about the destruction in the back as the kids coming in and out but that's something that I would like to do is just pay off the house first and my husband really prefers to give me like a physical tangible gift and my first thought was one of those little cell phone lens kits so I can improve my video for this channel but um, I started looking at the traditional gifts and the traditional 16 year gift is wax and I'm thinking I don't really like wax I don't think I want that so then I decided to look at the modern one which was silver hollowware and the stuff that I might like out of that was just a little higher in price than I wanted to spend and I already have my own um, silverware and a teapot, kettle thing, and different things like that. So I don't really see the need for that. And since we have been collecting stuff for 16 years of marriage, and I'm trying to go more into a minimal lifestyle and just keep what we need, I didn't want to just buy something. So I looked up flowers. And the flower that I found was the sea lavender and I had read that lavender is supposed to help with the mosquitoes in the area that we live so I told my husband that if he wanted to get me something for our anniversary I would like for him to get me some lavender plants that we can plant around the yard 
as well as citronella plants and lemongrass plants and I think I'm gonna go with a little bit of marigold and garlic and onions even too. There's a neighborhood cat that goes to my bedroom window at night and cries and it drives me nuts. And so I was thinking maybe all of those things would irritate the cat and so it wouldn't want to come nest near my bedroom window. So maybe. These are all things that I can plant outside so they won't clutter up the house. They serve a purpose, they still look pretty, and they're feminine, and so my husband will feel great about giving me those things. And then I can take him to my favorite little coffee shop called The Main Brew. And it's a little Christian coffee shop and I love it. And they have like the best cherry bomb latte ever, ever, ever. I'll probably get it iced because it's like 90 degrees in the morning here in Florida. So that's what we're going to do to kind of compromise for our wedding anniversary celebration. Yeah. All right. So thanks for um, coming to my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, please just don't dislike it. But if you do, I guess if you just have to you can put a thumbs down and I won't make any more videos about our anniversary and things like that which would make me sad um, if you're new here please subscribe I would love to have a new subscriber if you want to just make my day exuberantly happy leave a comment down below thanks bye